Finds the perfect execution, but so does Dove. The Lee Sin also gonna fall down as Trophy still trying to fight this one out. Dove in trouble, the five point strike's good. That's the triple, that's the quadra. Harp's gonna be the pentakill and Shobi. Oh, here comes the crow oh, oh, oh. FBI does lose his immortal ship, but oh. for JJ, four man engage on home oh, oh, oh. G2 can get in there, and now the blank is on the rail, won't come oh, down. Oh, we're going with the pillow! Hello, I'm Shox, and welcome back to Ultimate List, the home of Lil Esports' craziest and most legendary moments of all time. The League of Legends World Championship. It is the tournament all players strive for, the result of their hard work throughout the year, culminating in a chance to etch their name in history as the best team in the world. And with Worlds just around the corner, what better way to celebrate those attending the tournament than by checking out some of their best plays of the year. So sit back and relax as we take a look at, in no particular order, five of the greatest plays of the 2021 Worlds team. Rogue's jungler inspired dazzled LEC viewers across the world last split, leading his team to a dominant first place regular season finish as the league MVP. But the jungler's brightest moment of the split came in the LEC postseason, when he single-handedly scored Rogue their ticket to Worlds with a pentakill for the history books. Though before Rogue fans could witness greatness, they first needed to sweat a bit, with Rogue falling behind to Misfits in Game 5 of the first round of playoffs. Staring down Misfits' ridiculous 23-minute Infernal Soul, Rogue's last chance at a comeback lied with the Baron they took in return. And on Viego, his most played jungler of the split, Inspired used the buff to completely erase Misfits' lead. Job. VTO gets out of range of the Syndra ultimate by some time, manages to trade his life one for one. The Meganar comes Here back it? with a stopwatch comes out. Here it's going low, less than a thousand. He's taken out. Inspired needs the resets to break the hearts of all Misfits fans. But Kobe stays alive. The shield bow keeps him out. He finally goes no. down. Inspired's got the reset. It's a 2v1. Looking for another. Resorts in so much trouble. Inspired with the blade of the Ruined King. Diego shuts down Misfits. For the ace, the pentakill! A play only possible thanks to Viego, Inspired made sure to show his gratitude after scoring the penta. A faker, holy s***! Nice! Oh my god! Thanks for making Viego riot. Rogue take down Misfits! Showmaker is officially the LCK's fastest player to reach a thousand kills, hitting the milestone in no more fitting place than the summer split finals. But reaching 1,000 kills wasn't Showmaker's only accomplishment that night. The mid laner was also named Finals MVP, with Dom Wan Kia winning their third consecutive LCK title, beating T1 in four games. Yes, Dom Wan's perfect LCK Finals record finally came to an end after T1 took Game 3. And in Game 4, it looked like they could take another, growing an early lead through Kana's top lane, Gragas. Here's Faker, by the way, up in the top side, sneaking around in the enemy jungle, doing an incredible amount of damage. And we just get a solo kill onto the chase. Damwon eventually made their usual mid-game comeback through some crisp team fighting, which also earned them the Baron. But that comeback looked to be thrown after a mid lane dive cost them Canyon and Barrel's lives, giving T1 the man advantage to try and take the Infernal Soul. Except for the fact that Showmaker was still alive, who won Damwon the series through an incredible 3v5 quadra kill as LeBlanc. Tell me it's like... You're on the opposite side of this poke. They're just trying to get the smite down on time and win the coming in, but Showmaker has the damage and he takes out two, but the Infernal Soul will go the way of T1. Can Owner and Kana salvage it? No, Dom1 wins the fight and they're teleporting to try to end the game. Detonation Focus Me are once again the LJL champions, winning their seventh domestic title this past split. Though, this isn't the same DFM you probably remember from MSI a few months ago. This summer saw the DFM super team finally come together, with Support Gang returning to the starting lineup after their jungler Steel earned his LJL residency. And midway through the summer split, Gang showed us that he was well worth the wait, executing the rare five man Alistar knockup versus fellow first place team Rascal Jester. <laughs> Whoa, five man knock up, bruh! 
Tunnel vision on the potential Infernal Soul, Rascal Jester all funneled into the Drake Pit, giving Gang the perfect setup for a massive Flash Pulverize, followed by Arya's stolen Leona Ultimate and Utapon's Moonlight Vigil for a teamfight winning Wombo Combo. Mid laners, beware! Super Carry Doing B is making his World Championship return and he's looking stronger than ever. The FBX star was named the LPL Summer Split MVP and first All Pro mid laner after an incredible first place regular season finish. And watching Doombi this summer, it was clear he was on another level compared to his competition. It seemed like almost every match he was pulling off a bananas play against some of the hardest competition in the world. As I wonder, just moving across to help Icon here in the mid lane. Double scuttle, big start here for Tarzan, but now the dive starts onto Doombi. We saw this coming. He flashes out of the way. The MVP just gets Iwandi but with the Haymaker. He sticks around. It counts as a solo kill. You try and dive, super carry Doombi. He dive you. And no match better illustrated Doombi's MVP caliber play than FPX's week three series against the MSI champions RNG. A rematch of the Spring Finals, history looked to be repeating itself as RNG claimed Game 1, led by Zhao Hu finding solo kill after solo kill. But in Game 2, Doombi became the star of the series, beginning FPX's incredible comeback through one of the most impressive pentakills of the year. The Moonfall is good, but look at Gala, he's just free hitting, Gala's getting all these feathers down, the Jace is dead, they're gonna be able to take down the Diana as well, but Doombi picks up two out of nowhere, and three for Doombi, this man is ridiculous, oh, he four does it. for Doombi, a pentakill for Doombi! And finally, for the last spot on today's list, we went over to Twitter to see what you all thought was the best play from the 2021 World Championship teams. And there were some amazing moments posted, like Viper's Ophelia's triple kill in the LPL finals, and Kai Wing's nuts team fighting as Thresh versus Beyond Gaming. But the most posted moment was actually another Thresh play, courtesy of the TCL Summer Split semifinals, where Galatasaray support Zergsting took over as the Chain Warden versus Besiktas Esports. From his pinpoint dead sentence accuracy to the clutch flays both in and out of lane, Zergsting just couldn't be stopped. And when Shigenari's level 7 Syndra tried to shut him down, the level 5 Zergsting simply solo killed him. Reduced to a 1v1 after their respective lane partners died, Shigenari attempted to finish off the Galatasaray bot lane, hitting Zergsting with a surprise scatter the weak. But Zergsting was ready for the fight, trading auto attacks and a flay before flashing over the Dark Sphere to complete the solo kill with a close range hook. And who said supports couldn't carry? I'm Shox, and that's been this week's episode of Ultimate List. If we've forgotten an amazing play from this year's Worlds teams, or you have a suggestion for future topics, let us know in the comments down below or hit us up on Twitter at LolEsports. See you next time.